Like many parents, I've been watching the same movies over and over again lately. And the early Disney princesses get a bad rap. Snow White is a favorite in our house, and for 1937, it's incredibly detailed, and would be a major achievement if it were released now, other than the singing style and a three-second clip in the middle. But there's this perception that the early Disney princesses were just waiting around for a man to save them. But Snow White begins her story, doing menial tasks cheerfully. Suddenly, what little stability and comfort she had is shattered as she finds out that her stepmother tried to have her killed. After a moment of fear and panic, which is only natural, she pulls herself together and makes a plan. Pretty resourceful for a 14-year-old. She asks her animal friends where she can find shelter. But she's no freeloader. When she finds the house, she knows she has to make her presence worthwhile if she's going to have a shot at staying. So she uses her skills. The dwarfs don't want her to stay, but they can see how she can help them, and they respect her as she asserts herself, even to the point of washing their hands. Her kindness isn't her just being naive either. She's kind as she's asking to stay, but she knows if they refuse, the queen will find her and kill her. Sure, she's tricked by the queen as the old crone, but who would suspect their stepmother could shapeshift? Plus, that's just what villains do. They trick the heroes. Next, we come to the prince, who's really just the deus ex machina. He's the real two-dimensional character in the story. Not that he needed to be anything more. But there's a perception that Snow White is about the prince saving her. And really, that's just a tag at the end. The story is about her life before him. How jealousy and vanity poison the spirit, in the queen's case, and in Snow White's case, how kindness and resourcefulness can get you through traumatic times. That's my take on it anyway. But what do I know? I've only seen it a thousand times. Oh, and by the way, the Huntsman totally gets away with lying to the Queen. 